Hello, in this video we are going to look at hexadecimal Hello, in this video we are going to look at the hexadecimal system You can think of this video as like a quick crash course for hexadecimal You'll get all the knowledge you need for doing most things in hexadecimal But hexadecimal is such a big topic Though you can understand the basics and that will get you through your computer science life There's so much to learn but again like I said this is just going to be a basic system So hexadecimal what is it? It's a base 16 mathematical system used to simplify how binary numbers are represented Because binary numbers are stuff like 0001 that's 4 bits and that is the number 1 Obviously if you had 111 that would be F no, not F, sorry, the number 255, I was skipping to hexadecimal then, something like 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. so that will be, let's have a look what that is, that will be 16 plus 3, which is 19, so that looks about right, that, that will be the value 19, so we're not really going to be talking too much about binary in terms of what it is because we sort of expect you to already know binary if you're looking at a hexadecimal video a hex digit or like I like to prefer I prefer to call it a character because a digit suggests it's a number where the character is quite broad it can be any of the following 16 digits so valid hex I'll put digit slash character simply because a lot of places will refer to them as digits valid hex digit characters they are you got 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and then after that you get a b c d e and f so this is zero, you got like, so there you have your 16 different digits and each hex digit reflects a four bit binary system. That's it, I don't know what there. Four bit binary system. You probably, or pretty much guarantee, will have come across hexadecimal numbers. If you've done web development, especially CSS, you'll come across them in the form of something like this, something along those lines, and this actually represents a color. And like I was saying, each one of these hex digits represents a four bit binary sequence. So let's just show you how each one of these works. You may also see it represented as something like zero X, like zero zero ff that's also another hexadecimal number you just need to look at these four digits to the right of the x for the hex digits so let's have a look how they work so you got eight four two one this is just binary so if you had the value f you just have a look at how many digits there are it's the last one so that is the equivalent to 15 so it'd be 1 1 1 1 and you might think why is it like that and the reason is because these range from 0 to 1 so this has an index of 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So the biggest value is F, and that has a binary equivalent of 15. So if you wanted to represent 15 in binary, you would put, I mean, in hexadecimal, you put an F. And if you wanted to represent the number 15 in hexadecimal, and uh, I mean if you wanted to represent the number let's say 15 or 14 uh, the number 14 for example in hexadecimal you would use the letter E so you will put something like E there I don't know why I did this because I actually have an image right here that actually explains all of it for us so 
For example, we got 1, this is the equivalent binary, 0, 0, 0, 1, got the hexadecimal value. So if you just go back to the decimal 15, 1, 1, 1, 1, so the, this is the value 15, and this is the, hexades the hexadecimal equivalent. So let's just do some examples. Let's do, I'm not going to put hash or 0x in front of it because it really does depend what you're doing. So imagine if we have a, 3, 7, C. We want to convert this hexadecimal into binary. But first of all, we look at A. We need to convert A into a 4-bit binary system. So we look at A. A is 10. So 10 is 1, 0, 1, 0, because it's 8, 4, 2, 1. The 8 and the 2 bit is on. So 8 plus 2 is 10, which is A right there. Next, we want 3, which is 0, 0, 1, 1. So it's 2 plus 1. Now we want 7. So that's 0, 1, 1, 1. So that's 4 plus 2 plus 1. And finally, we want the letter C, which is 12. That's 1, 1, 0, 0. So that's how you convert hexadecimal to binary. But how about hexadecimal? I mean, how about binary to hexadecimal? System, very similar. So I'm just going to put some random zeros and one zero one zero one. Sound like Bender from Futurama. Zero one one zero one 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 zero zero one one zero. So we want to convert this convert to hexadecimal. Not hexadecimal. Hexadecimal. My bad. To do that, same principle. We need to convert this to a number first. So that is 8, 4, 2, 1, the 4 and the 1 bit is on, so 4 plus 1 is 5. So let's just write it out first. The next one is 8, 4, 2, 1, actually on top of it I'm going to write what it is, 8, 4, 2, 1, 8, 4, 2, 1, 8, 4, 2, 1, 8, 4, 2, 1. So the 8 bit is off. The 4 bit is on, the, sec the 2 bit is on, and the 1 bit is off. So that's 4 plus 2, which is 6. Next, we have the 8 bit on, the 4 bit on, and the 2 bit on. So that's 8 plus 4 plus 2, which is 14. And finally, we have the 4th bit on, the 2nd bit on, and none of the other bits on. So it's 4 plus 2, which is 6. And now we can just look at our table where it's this little better looking graph or it's my dodgy little table list here. So we get we have the number 5, we go to 5 that has a value of 5 in hexadecimal. Next we want the number 16, I mean number 6. 6 has the hex digit 6. Then it's 14, go all the way across, that has the hex digit E, put an E there. Finally, there's another 6, so we have the value 6. So this, right here, converted to hexadecimal, is 56E6. Hope you enjoyed this video on hexadecimal. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our educational platform, sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions dot php. There'll be a link in the description to that. Keep with hexadecimal, some really cool stuff. Like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to post them. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment and hit that subscribe button as it really does help us. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.